Okay, I want to go through and just show you some of the external features of the heart, so make sure that all of you can see this. I'll just bring it back a little bit. Um, we'll start off here. The heart has four chambers. Uh, the two bottom chambers, lower chambers, are the ventricles. They're the pumping chambers. They pump blood out of the heart. And then you have uh, two upper chambers here, the, vent the um, atria. So let's go through these four chambers. You have the left ventricle here. This is called the apex of the heart. And then you have the right ventricle on this side. Between the left ventricle and the right ventricle, you have a series of blood vessels that run uh, in, the, um, in the groove that supplies blood to the muscle of the heart. Uh, moving up, we have the uh, right atrium and uh, here the left atrium. These are the receiving chambers. They receive blood back from the lungs and from the rest of the body and they convey it to the ventricles. Uh, up at the top of the heart you have a number of major blood vessels. We'll come to that in a minute. But let's remove the front of the heart and uh, look inside the heart. So as we take away the front wall, uh, we can see inside the uh, chambers of the, uh, uh, the ventricles. So here we have the uh, right ventricle. And uh, just up here, I'll turn the model around, we have the chamber of the right atrium. Now blood comes into the heart from um, all over the body except the lungs via these two blood vessels here. This is the superior vena cava that brings blood back from your head, neck and upper extremities, your upper limbs. And uh, the inferior vena cava, I'll just put my probe through it, and uh, that brings blood back from the lower parts of the body. So blood comes into the heart via these two blood vessels and then the blood passes through this valve here called the uh, tricuspid or right atrioventricular valve. Uh, it's called tricuspid because it has three cusps. goes in here into the right uh, ventricle and uh, from here it's pumped into this large blood vessel here which is the pulmonary trunk which takes the blood to the lungs. Now, before it gets into the pulmonary trunk, it passes through a valve here called the uh, uh, pulmonary semilunar valve. You can see the valve here, the pulmonary semilunar valve. So you have two valves on the right side of the heart. You've got the tricuspid valve, or the right AV valve, and the pulmonary semilunar valve. Now, the reason that we have valves is to stop the blood from going backwards. So when the ventricle contracts, this valve shuts off so the blood doesn't go back into the right atrium and this valve opens up so the blood will pass into the pulmonary trunk. And when the ventricles relax, this valve would op will open up to allow blood to come into it and this valve will shut to stop the blood from going backwards from the pulmonary trunk into the uh, right ventricle. Now we come across now to the left side of the heart. So the blood is pumped uh, via the pulmonary trunk, which branches into two branches, uh, left and right pulmonary uh, artery. The blood, I'll just turn it around so you can have a look, goes to the lungs. When the blood reaches the lungs, it releases its store of load of carbon dioxide and picks up oxygen, so the blood becomes oxygenated in the lungs. It comes back to the heart via these four pulmonary veins. Two on this side and two on this side. That comes back to the heart and the blood goes into the left atrium. So let's turn it around and you can see here the cavity of the left atrium. That comes back in here. It passes into the left ventricle uh, through this valve called the bicuspid or left atrioventricular valve, also called the mitral valve. The blood goes through here into the left uh, ventricle. And when the left ventricle contracts, blood is ejected into this large blood vessel here. Uh, and I'll have to lift the heart up so you can have a look underneath here. And you'll see this valve here, the aortic semilunar valve. Blood passes through this valve into the aorta. And the aorta is a large, very large artery. Takes, distributes the blood around the body, except of course for the lungs and uh, the blood comes up here. This is called the ascending aorta. The aorta then, I'll just turn it around, so it's facing the front. The aorta then uh, uh, arches backwards and to the left. That's called the arch of the aorta. A number of major arteries come off the arch of the aorta that supplies blood to the 
head, neck and upper limbs and then the aorta uh, goes downwards behind the heart and then uh, through the diaphragm into the abdominal cavity. So that's the major structures, some of the, some of the major structures on the inside of the heart. Let's review just quickly again. So blood from most of the body comes into the left atrium via the superior and the inferior vena cava and it passes through the uh, tricuspid valve into the right ventricle, from the right ventricle through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk which branches into the left and right pulmonary arteries taking the blood to the lungs to release carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen coming back to the heart via the four pulmonary veins and uh, the blood comes into the left atrium through the bicuspid or left AV valve into the left ventricle and then pump from the left ventricle through the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta. So that's the path of the pathway for blood circulation through the heart. Now also notice that the muscle on the left side of the on in the left wall of the left ventricle is much thicker than the muscle in the right in the wall of the right ventricle. And the reason for that is because the right ventricle is pumping blood only to the lungs, which lies adjacent to the heart, so it doesn't have to go uh, a long way, a long distance, whereas the left ventricle is pumping blood to the rest of the body, so it has to generate a higher pressure, hence the thicker walls. Now, let's put the uh, front wall of the heart back, back into position. And uh, <clears throat> uh, you can now see we we'll just run through quickly the external anatomy. So you have left um, uh, ventricle, right ventricle, uh, right atrium, left atrium, uh, pulmonary trunk, aorta, the veins now, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, and the four pulmonary veins bringing blood back from the lungs. So they are some of the basic structures of the external and internal uh, anatomy of the heart.